Good day guys, welcome to another video or episode of our vlog. Today we are going to feature the iPad 2020 Pro. Yeah, let's add the pencil. Come on, here you go. Now, oops, you can see the notifications. Anyway, um, before we start, I would say that I am not a techie geek. I'm not a hardcore techie. So what you can see here is from someone who is a regular consumer, like most of us. So yeah, before we start with our review, I would like you to see this, the unboxing. Ready? Here we go. So after a few weeks or a little over months, a month of using this one, I've come up with the uh, pros and cons with this one. First, let's start with the cons, the bad side. Well, one price. It is expected that if it's Apple, it's gonna break your bank. So yeah, they are they are marketing this as the new computer. If you're gonna buy an iPad Pro with a pencil and then add a and add a keyboard, magic keyboard, a lot of people would say that would be a total of the amount of buying your own MacBook, which is same as getting a new computer. Next, I would say that I am not really completely happy about is the front camera. So um, this is quite important when you're using this as a video calls for business meeting or like telehealth, which is quite common nowadays because of the coronavirus. So front camera is quite important, important when to talking to someone else, but um, it's not really bad, but um, no, I don't think so. There's already a gadget that satisfies me when it comes to the front camera. Maybe in the near future. Next, that somehow annoys me is it has one port only. So if I am using a headset, I can't charge this. I know that's gonna be tricky if you're charging this one, you should not use it a headset or doing something else on your gadget but uh, yes so since because it only has one port over here you can just use a I don't know what to call it but um, like a multiple USB connector so plug it in there and then so you can use the um, port for your mouse or for your headset also for whatever so yeah, that's it. I like in a laptop, of course. There's a lot of plenty, plenty of connections when you have a laptop. Let's go to the good side. See, I didn't say anything much bad about this one because I'm quite happy with this one. One, as I mentioned earlier, that this is the new laptop. I think that is a brilliant idea because I have a laptop that would well, most of the laptop, it takes a while to turn it off and turn it on and they are heavy and um, yeah, it's just hard. Like if you, I want to go to work, I'm going to carry the big laptop. This is the capacity of a computer. It's very convenient for your work. Next is, I'm actually happy that it has the USB-C port. And that's, that's my trub trouble during, especially when traveling because I need to bring a lot of subs. I need to bring a lot of different USB charger for different gadgets. Big charger for my camera, my phone, this one and the other phone. So USB-C for everyone, one USB cord for everyone, convenience. 
very good. Another thing that amazes me here is it's very quick to react. Like going from one page to another, it's very quick. It doesn't take, I'm quite an impatient person in, in, in some ways or another. But yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with this one from transferring from one window to another. Easy peasy. Next is the pencil. I know in 2018 iPad Pro, we have the Pencil 2 already, but yeah, I just love the idea that it, this pencil will just stick there and the magnet is very, see that? It won't fall over, that's how strong the magnet is and that is actually charging now, unlike before the Pencil 1, you have to stick it on the port and then let it charge but now just stick it in a magnet then there you go and also with a pencil um i love the fact that i can just tap tap this one if i need to write then tap it if i need to erase so especially when signing documents like for work i just have to screenshot the pdf and then sign and then send it before that was very hassle, like you have to print the whole document and sign it and scan it again before you send it. But um, yeah, technology nowadays, very easy. Just PDF. I know you can do that over the phone, but um, over the phone it's too tiny. I need space. So yeah, I am loving the pencil, but I don't love the price. This would cost you around 200 but. Yeah, also the iPad Pro features very good camera, back cam camera that is. It has wide, ultra wide option and uh, yeah, I love their back camera. But not really, but I don't really use this for photography use, but it's very good for like taking a photo of a, an important document, make sure it's not blur and you get all the details. So yeah. Very good, very efficient. Next, another thing. We got 12, it gives me 12 months free Apple TV access. And I got another uh, like seven days of Smule, but I'm really happy with the Apple TV. Yeah, the first series that I watched was The Servant, and it features Rupert Grint and yeah, quite intriguing, very nice. You know, if you don't have to pay for another Netflix or another stand for good movies. That's very good, love it. Next, battery life. I can't tell you how many minutes you can use this one, but I would tell you that I've been watching the uh, series The Servant and then it doesn't really eat up a lot of battery. Yeah, I'm quite amazed with the battery of this one. Next, that really amazed me with this one is during at night, it has an ability to recognize your face. Like very low light. It has that ability to see and recognize your face. I'm like, wow. Next is, it's good that it has its own version of Microsoft World Word, Microsoft Word, <laughs> Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Next is, it's good that it has its own version of Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, things like those. Next is, this is also helpful to those students who are um, like studying university students if their lecturer would just send them PowerPoint. That's easier because they can just scribble their extra notes on the, the iPad and then you don't really need the notebook nowadays. This is, this is everything. Next is, I'm quite happy with its audio. It has four speakers there and it's very decent. This thin little gadget here can deliver a very decent audio especially when you're using Smule so try that 
Next is it has Bluetooth capacity that you can use your PSP4 controller and play games here. I've been trying to play this racing thing, this racing game app. I'm quite impressed with the graph. Can you hear that? It's amazing, isn't it? How thin, small this gadget is and how powerful and decent audio is. Let's turn it off. Also, what I like about this one is you can split your screen so you can do two things at a time. I know in the phone you can use that, but um, yeah, it's much better with a it's much better with a larger screen. In conclusion, this gadget is quite brilliant, especially if you're using it for work. It will really make your life easier. All right, guys, I know you might agree or disagree with the things that I've said, but this is my point of view, and I hope. If you grab this one, you're happy as I am and satisfied with what this gadget can do. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and smash that bell icon to see more reviews or product or anything videos from me. Till next time. Bye-bye. It is zero degrees. It is zero degrees.